for the patient that continues to have pain, as well as episodes of instability, whether it's just a partial dislocation, called a subluxation, or a true dislocation, there are many surgical options that are available. Most commonly, what I'm able to do is to do a repair of the labrum and tighten the capsule to restore its normal tension. Most times, that can be done with an arthroscopic approach, which involves several small incisions and using a camera in the shoulder joint to visualize the problem and using small instruments to perform the repair. Occasionally, people will have significant anterior instability, a dislocation of the ball of the front of the socket, which is associated with a bony fracture. They may have had multiple episodes of instability, and they may have worn out some of the bone on the front of the socket. These patients will often require open surgery with what's called a Latarge procedure. This operation came from France. When I was in France, I learned the technical points of it from a surgeon who performs the most Latargés in the world. 